right today we are going to continue the lectures on the structure of eyeball already we have discussed uh, cornea sclera right and we have also discussed the arterial supply to the eyeball right and today we'll specially talk about the uvl tract right so let me very briefly review the basic structure of the eyeball and then we will go into detail of the uvl tract as you know that uh, basically eyeball uh, has three main layers right uh, in which this is the outermost layer and this outermost layer is considered a protective layer right and this outermost layer of the eyeball its interior most area is transparent this is transparent and this is called cornea very good and this other part this is white made of collagen collagen is a tough membrane and this is called yes sclera. Sclera. sclera very good right so we can say the outermost layer or coat of the eyeball is the protective part right its posterior five six consist of the sclera and interior you can say uh, one sex is basically cornea which is transparent right am i clear then inside it in order to this structure in order to the sclera uh, there is the main vascular layer of the eyeball and this vascular layer of the eyeball here i will make it just inside the sclera it extends from posterior surface posterior area of the eyeball and it extends interiorly right now this vascular layer of the eyeball right or the middle layer of the wall of the eyeball this thickens as it approaches anteriorly it become thickens it become thick right as it approaches anteriorly and when this thickened part right now this thickened part is called ciliary body and all vascular layer behind it is called choroid and then here there is a diaphragm like structure but this is also vascular layer and this interior most part is called this is a diaphragm like structure with a central aperture the aperture is called pupil and this part is called iris is that right this is called iris now this is yes from here from back up to here and here right all the structure is yes choroid this is called choroid and this structure and this structure this is called ciliary body and this part is called iris, iris. is that right that is called iris right and all of this vascular layer is actually called uvl tract so what is uvl tract uvl tract is basically middle coat of the eyeball wall and this is vascular coat rather i must say it's vascular pigmented coat it's pigmented as well right and vascular heavily vascular structure and this posterior one uh, five six of the eyeball this is basically cori and then this Cilibody. yes a large part is called ciliary body and this diaphragm like structure with a central aperture right this is called iris, iris right and inside it there is yes yes here here the structure is yes please retina, retina. excellent this is called retina retina now as we will discuss later that uh, retina has part in which this is having a lot of rods and cones right and a part of retina where rod and cones abruptly terminate at this point and at this point rod and cones you can say abruptly terminate the point of the retina where rod and cones terminate this point is called ora serrata what is it called ora serrata and a part of the retina right it moves forward 
right the pigment layer of the retina moves forward and it continues behind the iris and ciliary body and iris now up to this point from here up to this point this is that part of the retina which is sensitive to light and anterior to this point right part of the retina which extends forward it does not have rods and cones so it is called that part of the retina which is not sensitive to the light and the point where these two part of the retina meet with each other right the point where visual part of the retina or light sensitive part of the retina abruptly terminate right that point is called aura serrata aura serrata am i clear up to this and then of course you must be knowing that here is a structure called yes lens lens and behind the lens there is another structure here and this structure is called vitreous humor this is called vitreous humor which is filling up the eye and lenses attached with special ligament with the ciliary body and these ligaments of the lens which are holding the lens or attaching the lens with the ciliary body these are called zonules they are called zonules or they are called suspensory ligament is that right they are called also suspensory ligament any question up to this no so this is the very basic structure of the eyeball we have already structures on the sclera we have already struck uh, lecture sorry we have already lecture on the sclera we have also re previously recorded lecture on cornea is that right and we have specifically had a very uh, explanatory lecture on the blood supply to the eyeball the vessels which are supplying the eyeball i will briefly review that also because if uh, blood supply to the eyeball is somewhat clear then it will become very easy for you to understand the vascular supply within the uveal tract again what is uveal tract uveal tract is the vascular middle layer of the eyeball is that right uveal tract has posterior most part which is called cori then at aura serrata and forward uveal tract become thicker and that is called ciliary body and then more interiorly uveal tract or this vascular layer become a diaphragm like structure with a central aperture to allow the light to pass through that is pupil and this diaphragm like part diaphragm like curtain with a central aperture this is called iris is that right any question up to this it's clear okay now very 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 briefly blood supply to the eyeball right and then we will continue our lecture on uveal tract before i go for that you will tell me what is this structure now from here up to here yes what is this structure cori very good what is this structure ciliary body excellent and what is this structure iris. iris and all of this is uveal tract am i clear and all of it is uveal tract now the blood supply here right very briefly the ma mainly the blood vessels which are coming to the eyeball they are coming from ophthalmic artery right from ophthalmic artery number 1 uh, artery goes here and this enters through the optic nerve inside the eyeball and supplies the retina and uh, this artery is called central retinal artery. artery this is central retinal artery right then there are another group of vessels for example i show it here that this will enter into eyeball outside the optic nerve on the side and this artery will yes here you see it is supplying which structure choroid what is this a blood vessel supply choroid and this blood vessel right the first blood vessel was retinal central retinal artery and number 2 blood vessel this and this these are posterior ciliary arteries but they don't reach up to the anterior part they don't reach up to the anterior part of uveal tract so we call them there are posterior 
axillary artery. What are these? Posterior, posterior ciliary artery. artery. And because they don't reach anterior most area, they are considered short. They are not long. So what will be the name of this artery? Short posterior ciliary artery. Short posterior ciliary artery. Now the long posterior ciliary artery, look at it, it comes from here, it enters and it moves forward, 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 forward and reaches up to here. It's really long. You see, posterior ciliary artery is mainly supplying chorion. Posterior, short posterior ciliary, short posterior ciliary mainly applying the chorion. And long posterior, this artery number three, and we can put it here also. It's the same. So long posterior ciliary moves forward and they are reaching up to here. This is called what? Long posterior ciliary. Now listen. This is posterior ciliary, right? This is also posterior ciliary, but both of them are reaching, most not reaching to the ciliary body and not reaching to iris. So these are posterior short ciliary and these are entering and reaching more anteriorly. So they are posterior long ciliary. Is that right? Yes. Am I clear? Then here are the muscles supplying the eyeball, uh, attached with the eyeball and some of thalmic artery branches go to the muscles and from the muscular some branches enter. What is this? Enter into ciliary body. Yes, that is right. This is muscular branch of thalmic artery. From here a branch goes to the ciliary body also. Now this branch, this is also going to the eyeball. This is also going to the eyeball this is considered you can say number four and four this is considered anterior ciliary artery this is considered anterior ciliary artery any question up to this now you have to tell me what is this branch which is through the optic nerve entering into eyeball and supplying the innermost layer of retina what is this artery yes central retinal artery now these are again branches which are entering from the back of the eyeball so this is posterior artery so this one the number two this is posterior artery because you're going to eyeball posterior ciliary artery but it is supplying mainly chorion and not not supplying the ciliary body and this is not supplying the iris so this is short posterior ciliary short posterior ciliary then this is an artery which also enters from posterior aspect of the eyeball right it is posterior ciliary but it, it moves forward and it reaches up to ciliary body right and its branches will supply the ciliary body and even uh, to the iris so this is called posterior long ciliary artery so you know the difference in short and long ciliary artery and then interior ciliary anterior ciliary, ciliary artery is a branch of muscular branches of ophthalmic artery and it enters in the eyeball from interior part right uh, interior to the middle of the globe right and interior ciliary and once it enters in the ciliary body it also make an astomosis with the long posterior ciliary artery am i clear this was a very brief review now we'll go into detail of uvl tract as you know already uvl tract consists of three what is uvl tract it's a vascular pigmented layer in the eyeball and it's a middle middle layer because outer layer is sclera middle layer is uvl tract outer layer is cornea and sclera middle layer is uvl tract and innermost layer is retina am i clear